But then, listen, hey, you, you've seen comedians before, we always have loads of stories about hotels, because that's our life, right? But even in real life, I've moved 12 times in the last 10 years, some ridiculous amount of house moves I've done in the last while, which is, you know, depressing. And to the young men here, you may have heard this thing about how it's the most stressful thing in the world to move, and yeah, it is and it isn't, right? But, you know, there's, there's, a, there's some upside, right? You know, and this may bore you because you haven't done it yet, but trust me, there is an upside in which you get to look around other people's houses. Right? And we all like looking around other people's houses. You can tell that by the amount of property shows, you know, whether it's like location, location, or grand designs, or property ladder is my favorite show. Not just because, you know, there's property there, but also because uniquely, there's an expert that nobody pays any attention to. <laughs> Very few television shows employ somebody to go in and go Magnolia and be completely ignored by the people where they go, no, no, not Magnolia, Sarah, we're gonna paint it black and tarmacat on the floor and then create hooks that people have to drag themselves up and we're still gonna make seven grand of profit. <laughs> uh, and Sarah Beanie's getting furious, going, it's not real profit, it's not real profit. And she's pregnant, she's not pregnant, she's pregnant again. <laughs> she's like a one-woman continuity disaster area, you know? <laughs> you watch Property Ladder going, Jesus, Sarah, how long has it taken you to paint this fucking house? You've had three children in the time that they've been doing up that outside toilet. <laughs> but it is just nice to look into other people's houses. How many of you live in a house? And how many of you live in a house that has a ground floor? Yeah, the majority of you. Here's a little hint, here's a little request. Put up some curtains. Put up some curtains or some like blinds or Venetians or something. And if you're not going to do that, don't have a big miserable puss on your face staring out when I stare in. <laughs> I can't understand people who look miserably at you when you look into their house. Pull up some curtains, otherwise I'm looking into your feckin' house, right? <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I don't vault over the garden wall and run up to the window and go, Toof. <laughs> and squeak my face across the glass. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> I just mean you're walking past the house, it has no curtains, you look in. And people are always sitting there going, what the fuck are you doing looking in? <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm going to look in, right? Just because you're sitting there reading like a slut. You knew I was going to look in, didn't you? <laughs> Put up some curtains, otherwise it's like having cleavage on the front of your house. I'm going to look in, right? <laughs> Here's the most extreme example of that. Has anyone here ever been in Miami? A few of you have. And did you do that boat trip? where you see the famous people's houses. You did, you did that, right? For those of you who have never done, done, seen this, Miami is a collection of archipelagos and islands and bits of land and loads of water, right? And there is a, like, there's one part of it which is owned by, just houses owned by, incredibly expensive houses owned by American celebrities like Gloria Estefan and Shaquille O'Neal and all these people live on this, on this island, right? And it's incredibly private. You can never drive up to it or walk up to it because there's men with guns and shutters and, you know, all sorts of protection. But all the houses back on to the water. So every hour, four times an hour, boats pull up to the bottom of the garden and a guy goes, that's Gloria Estefan's house. And every in the boat goes, ooh, click, 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 click. And they play a bit of Gloria Estefan. <laughs> and you're kind of going, what fucking manner of idiot is Gloria Estefan to spend $20 million on a house so that every 15 minutes she's doing the drying up in the kitchen and a fucking boat pulls up to the bottom of the garden. <laughs> And the voice goes, Gloria Estefan. And 400 people go, ooh, click, 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 click. Rhythm is gonna get you. Uh, <laughs> and it does. It's very addictive. <laughs> and if it's bad for her, two doors up from her lives this guy, not a celebrity, just a rich guy. You know, Johnny Van Fugelmugel of the Van Fugelmugel Finance Corporation. Something like that. <laughs> and the boat pulls up to his garden, and they go, and this house is owned by Johnny Van Fugelmugel of the Van Fugelmugel Finance Corporation. And the entire boat goes, hmm. <laughs> I've never heard one of his singles, I've never seen his movies, he's clearly an idiot. I don't like him at all. Right? <laughs> How quickly would you go insane if you'd spent 20 million dollars on a house and you're sitting on a deck chair in your, in your garden just looking out and a fucking boat pulls up to the bottom of the garden and 400 people look at you and go, no, oh, you're shit. <laughs> You'd be at the end of the garden flinging your own poo at the boat by the end of the first week. Like, you know. You'd be going, I know I'm not famous, I know I'm not Gloria Estefan, but I know Gloria Estefan. I, yeah, I, I, I could go, see that strimmer? That's Gloria Estefan's strimmer, you know? And I'm not giving it back to her either. <laughs> the people who were there, you were on that, you were on that boat, did you? Did you see any of the famous people? No. You didn't. Oh, it's a rare treat. But we saw Gloria Estefan. Mm. She swam with the boat. <laughs> 
This was magical. She suddenly shot out of the water and everyone, oh my God, that's Gloria. And the boat sped up and Gloria was shooting in front of the water. And then she was under the boat at one stage and we ran to the other side, she popped up there and you could reach down and stroke her. It was amazing. She, her skin was like tarpaulin, like leather, but it was smooth but hard. And then the kid in the boat was a bit simple in the head and they lowered him into the water and, and she swam with him for a while and it seemed to calm him down. And then at the end, she shot out of the water and then the rest of the Miami sound machine shot out of the water behind her. It was the most be I may be mixing it up with a different holiday. Uh, so. <laughs> but no, you want to you look around these houses, if you're moving in particular, because there are things you don't want in a house. When you're you know, moving into a house, whether you've bought it or you're moving in, there's things you don't want to have happened in a house. I mean, what's the number one thing you don't want to have happened in a house before you move in? Murder. Always murder. Absolutely. Every night, murder. You're ab you don't want an estate agent going, and this is bedroom number one, and this is bedroom number two. And then he opens the door, and there's just plates spinning in every direction, and a voice going, avenge me, avenge me. <laughs> and the estate agent goes, mainly storage. Uh, and then walks out. <laughs> what, as well, what else do you not want to have happened in the house before you move in? Skid marks in the toilet. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying you're mad to say it. I'm just saying it wouldn't make a lot of cleaning for them or the seller or somebody. It doesn't turn up on a hips report. Uh, <laughs> is the house sufficiently insulated? And have you given the toilet a bit of a wipe, for Christ's sake, whether you're an animal or some description? Don't judge me. He's the one who said skid marks in the toilet, right? I didn't say it. I think it's revolting. I think I'm with you on that one, right? Other than skid marks on the toilet and murder, what do you not want to have happened in the house before you move in? Fire. Oh, listen, of course, who wants to view a house on fire? <laughs> You'd be walking around going, it's a bit hot, isn't it? It's a bit warm. And they're going, well, it won't be warm for long. Oh, my gosh. So why don't we do the rest of it from outside? Uh, oh, right, OK, you're absolutely Murder, fire, skid marks in the toilet. What else? What, what did you say? Floods, exactly. What did you say? Ghosts. Like they're going to fucking tell you. Uh, like they're ever going to go, oh, it's, it's a lighthouse and there's a south facing garden, but boo in the middle of the night! <laughs> Ghosts, for fuck's sake. Like an estate agent is going to go, well, we have one house. And then lightning goes off behind him. <laughs> but I don't know if you want to stay in the murder house. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'll get the keys. Uh, sorry. OK, other than ghosts, flood, fire, skid marks in the toilet, uh, murder. What else? What do you say? Germans. <laughs> Whoa, I can fucking top that. What did you just say? I said no, no Irish. No Irish? <laughs> well, thanks for splitting the fucking crowd. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, what were you going to say, Jim? I'm an Irishman as well. You're an, oh, you're from Irish. You're from Ireland yourself. Oh, that's one, I, I love that. Self-hating Irishman. Uh, <laughs> why, what did you do to your last house? Was it skid marks, was it? You filthy devil, was it? Skid marks, a ghost. You fucking released bees into the bedroom. What the hell did you do to the house? That could have been you burnt it down. Great. Because the skid marks couldn't be cleaned. Fuck it. Let's burn the entire thing down. Parasite everywhere. Let's just get rid of the thing. I can't be arse selling this thing.